So this is part two of the top 20 resorts here in Boho. Don't mind the background, I'm actually in Cebu filming this, but this is the cream of the crop of Boho's best resorts to stay at. Let's check them out. Get ready to embark on a journey to discover the most exquisite resorts this island has to offer. From world-class spa experiences to thrilling adventures, Boho has it all. Join me as I count down the top 10 resorts in Boho. So starting at number 10, this is Donatella Resort and Santry, an upmarket resort in Boho. The resort is located here in Panglao, a few kilometers away from Alona Beach. The place is huge and covers some seven and a half hectares of garden. As you can see from above, lots of greenery. So you do get that feeling of being in touch with nature at this resort. Some parts of the garden did look a little run down though. Nonetheless, it was just nice to walk around and enjoy the serenity. So this is their pool area. So looks quite nice. So places to lounge by the pool and relax. So it's even got a little kids slide here, or unless you're an adult and really hammered. I'm not sure about all the, the ornaments in the gardens here, those crabs and crocodiles look a bit dangerous. So what I do like about this place is the gardens here. It's lots of lawn there, lots of trees and shrubs, very peaceful. There's birds around. They do have access to the beach. Well, not really a beach, more a concrete pathway down to the water. And there are some places to laze by, but nothing really to write home about. There is a mini zoo here, but it was currently closed and under renovation, but the cages did look pretty small. Down by the stables here, I'm gonna ride one of the horses. Now I'm an absolute beginner, I've never done this before. So I'm gonna try it out. Got the equestrian area here and I've got a horse set up. I think this is going to be my horse. I think it saw me and wanted to run. Here in Donatella, you can experience horseback riding and this is Biki, he will be your ride for today. For 30 minutes, you will enjoy the horseback riding for 1,000 Philippine Peso and for 15 minutes, you will enjoy um, the horseback for 500 Philippine Peso. Enjoy! Have fun. Yeah. Have fun! If you're a beginner, this track will be your training ground and if you're good to go, you can go outside or room the resort. Without a guide. Without a guide. So it's fairly easy to pick up for a beginner like me and a really nice experience. Now if you're feeling a bit peckish, head here. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome, Welcome to Paprika, Paprika, the heart of Panglao. Now this is their fine dining restaurant where you can enjoy delicious Asian and other international cuisines. Okay, upon waiting for your food to be served, here's our freshly baked lavash and baguette with balsamic vinaigrette and parmesan cheese on top and hummus and this is Here's our seafood curry, a little bit spicy. Awesome, looks nice. For me, I thought the food was really good. I particularly like the outdoor dining with those beautiful views over the ocean. This was their breakfast and it was just nice sitting out there with that amazing view. They also have an indoor seating area as well. The restaurant is just top notch. The staff are fantastic here as well, and they really look after you. I was very impressed with them. Here's a copy of their menu. As you can see, a good selection here from salads, pastas, steaks, and local cuisine. Let's look at a couple of the villas. So behind me is the garden villa that I'm staying at tonight. Now it has been a bit of rain around, so there's a bit of mud as you can see in the background. The villas have an electronic key code to enter. The villas are large and have a classic look to the place. So this is the garden villa. I'll show you the pool villa later, but this one is just huge as you can see behind me. It did remind me a little bit of the villas at Eskaya Resort, which I did in part one of this video. They have high beam ceilings and luxury amenities. So as you arrive, you get a welcome drink. Now they do have a map here, which you will need because this place is just huge. So this is a cabinet with espresso machine. You've got the mini bar and cutlery here and you've got some little snacks. It had a stock mini bar and overall a nice comfortable room to stay at. And in between the door there is the bathroom area and it's quite huge as well. Two basins. So you don't have to fight over the basin with your partner. It did come with a shower to one side. The style was very old fashioned, I thought. To the other side was a wardrobe with robes and storage area. You've got the balcony here overlooking the garden. So, so view. If you want to go with a little bit more style, you've got a little bit more cash lying about, try the pool villa. This one is called Lantana. And as you can see, you've got the little patio you can relax on. You've got the gorgeous pool. And then 
some lounge chairs to relax. This villa is really nice and I just thought it needed a tequila sunrise to make it even better. And yes, they do do room service here. Just the perfect way to cool off from the heat. So let me take you inside and give you a quick tour. So this place is huge. You've got the living area here and then through here is the bedroom. Now I thought the garden villa was huge, but this one is even larger at 120 square meters. Although a bit dated, it was a nice living area. As we move into the bedroom, you can just see how much space you really have. It's a king size bed and there's also a second TV in this room as well. Complete with wooden floorboards and a large window to let in that natural light. Keeping in with the same feel of the villa, the bathroom is spacious and with two sinks. Again, I thought the style was a bit old fashioned looking, but other than that, it was great. At the front, there was some storage and a safe. The toilet was at the back of the bathroom and a vanity next to that. And I've got lunch coming. How perfect is this? Look at this lunch. The salmon, chilling out here. Got the pool in front of me with the running water. It's just, it's just perfect. Obviously you book this villa for what's outside and it's just beautiful. So if you want to spoil yourself, this is the one to go for. It's peaceful, serene and so relaxing here. So things to be aware of with this resort. It's a little bit out of the way, nothing really within walking distance. So you will have to organize your own transport to go anywhere. You can book directly on their website and you can also see their other villas that they offer, including a family one. With prices, as you expect from a luxury resort with villas like this, it is pricey. You can also book via your favorite third party sites like Agoda. And also just to mention in general, I think resorts in Bohol are on the higher side. So you'll see that throughout the video. Nonetheless, an excellent place to stay in Panglao. So let's have a look at this one, Mithi Resort and Spa. Coming in at number nine is this gorgeous looking place. Mithi Resort and Spa is located on the northern part of Panglao and it is a little bit away from the main tourist area of Panglao. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Mithi Resort and Spa. Hope you will enjoy your stay here. Drinks. Definitely, this is one of the most unique looking resorts here in Bohol. As you can see, the pools here, and as well, the actual accommodation. We've got the funny roos. It is a beachfront resort, and I'll show you the beach in a second. While you're here, you can go out to their own private island they got here. It's called Dream Island. Not as good as Temptation Island, but second best thing. When you do get amazing weather, it looks gorgeous. With those infinity pools and the ocean glistening in front, it's heavenly. Head down the stairs to the resort's own private beach cove where you can relax in some of their lounges that they've set up. While it's only small, it's a beautiful little beach cove. If you want to get out on those beautiful waters, you can try some of their water sports or just to cool off and take a dip in the ocean. Never mess with mother nature. Look at that, ripped out from the typhoon. So this is a cave down here. You can actually go swimming in here. The waters here are just crystal clear. You can see right down. There's also a number of bats inside here as well. So on one side of the resort, they have the pool, which you can see in front of me. This is the spa, and they've got a bit of a games room at the back there. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Miki Spa. So we have our best, our best seller for the signature, our signature massage for the combination of Swedish, the statue, the blastful, the fit and health, and the lumi lumi from the five combinations. This is for the couple's massage room. Okay. We have our jacuzzi and for the couple's room. And this is our male facial and food spa. And they also have a gym here, but at the moment it's locked, so I have to go to reception to get it, but keep in mind there is a gym here. So they did open it up for me later, and this is inside, just a small gym. So these were some of the games they had on offer in their games room. So on site they have a souvenir shop. So here you can pick up clothing and other sorts of souvenirs. Good afternoon, welcome to souvenir shop. We have here the Bohol's Delicacies, the Peanut Fingers, and the Star Peanuts. Which one would you recommend as a favorite? Yes. Um, I would like to recommend you the Peanut Fingers, sir. Delicious? Yes, sir. It's very delicious. It's Bohol's Delicacies. I like the game of tennis. They've got some courts here. At the moment, they're covered to protect it from the elements. Mithi has one restaurant that overlooks the pools and ocean. They also have an indoor area as well. In general, I thought the food was decent here. They offer a fairly good variety of dishes, including some local and international. And I'm sorry, I forgot to take a photo of the menu. And even when I emailed them, they wouldn't provide a copy of their menu for me. 
Breakfast was a small buffet with a chef there to cook your eggs to your liking and they had the standard breakfast dishes and some other hot dishes as well. Some of the dishes did change daily. As for the buffet breakfast I had in Bohol, this one feels like middle of the pack as an average buffet. This is an older resort and you can see a bit of wear and tear like in the concrete and all that so it's nothing new here. From a distance it looks so beautiful but up close you can see some of those cracks. The leading room is the superior room that they have here. Now when your key card looks like Swiss cheese you know you're going to get an old room. The superior room is okay. It is a tad old but nothing concerning. Just run of the mill type of room. I thought it was roomy and came with the standard amenities including safe and mini bar, tea and coffee making facilities, a wardrobe at the front to store your stuff and generally it was an okay room. Outside there was a little patio, not much in the way of view but just of the lawn and other villas. The villa was divided up to four superior rooms including two upstairs. The bathroom was decent enough, it was clean and I had no issues with it. So let me show you the superior renovated room behind me here. I think with the lockdowns and the typhoon, they didn't finish renovating all their superior rooms and the plans were put on hold. So only a few of them have been renovated. The renovations themselves look a little subtle, but still a bit nicer than the older rooms. They came with the same amenities and the general color of the room was the same shade. So this is the bathroom. So we've got the basin over there and then behind we've got the shower and the CR on the other side. The bathroom was nice and clean and no issues. At the front of the bathroom was a wardrobe with hangers, a safe and slippers. So outside they've got a balcony here. It's very long and narrow so you can't really sit down here. It's only really good for standing. The deluxe rooms are a lot nicer and they have a better location in the resort as well. This is their deluxe room which gives you a semi view of the ocean out there. They're the beach view villas. The room is a good size. I like the colours here too better. The rooms are just a lot more brighter than those brown colours in the superior. Anyhow, it has all the same comforts and amenities as the other rooms. These room types come in a configuration of either one king or two queens. Moving into the bathroom, it had lots of space as well with two basins, the standard toiletries, and they had a shower to one side with a wardrobe on the other side with hangers, safe and robes. While the superior rooms are so-so, if you've got the money, I'd either go for one of these deluxe rooms or one of the ocean view villas. They're the ones to go for. Now this is the sea view villa and this is the best room or villa you can get here. It's elegant and stylish and very spacious. And yes, it's a little bit old, but I don't think that's too big of an issue as it provides a cozy and the most comfortable stay you'll get in the resort. And the TV spun around and that's my attempt at modeling for the price is right. Through the doorway took you into the bathroom with the wardrobe at the entrance. It had the same features as the other room types. Then the other side was the bathroom itself with a huge basin. And right at the back was the shower. Really nice. And of course, having an espresso machine in the room is a bonus for me. What sets this villa apart though is the outdoor area, offering breathtaking views of the ocean. On top of that, you've got this amazing jacuzzi inviting you to unwind in style. Just perfect for couples. And on the side, you've also got sun lounges to chill out. And just like that, you've maxed your credit card out. To book, as always, you can use their website or via your favorite third-party sites. Prices are shown. I think Mithy is an awesome place to stay at. It is getting on in age, and it is a bit away from the other touristy spots in Panglao. The place looks amazing, particularly from a distance, and it comes in as highly recommended, and that's why I put it as number nine. Mayo Uto, welcome to Big Grand Resort. Big Grand is a more contemporary looking resort than Mithy. And as you can see, it's a stylish looking place. Located on the southwestern part of Panglao Island, it's only a short trip away from the airport. Me is their main swimming pool. It's quite large and I think, as you can see, it looks quite stylish. So to the left of me is their main building, which has their deluxe and suite rooms. And then if we turn around here, this is where you should aim to go. If you've got the money, that's where the villas are located and they've got their own lagoon. And I'll show you that in a sec. But first we need a drink. Have a smaller, Kitty's pool at the end of the main pool. In the villas, only the villa residents can access the lagoon. So there you go, that's the lagoon and the villas that surround it. Absolutely amazing. The biggest disappointment with this resort is the beachfront. It's rocky and concrete. When I think of Baha, I think of amazing white sandy beaches 
and this just ain't it. And look, you can swim here, as you see behind me, but you can see it's all concreted steps down there. You can laze, work on your tan, get a drink from the monkey bar, and there's also water sports that you can do kayaking. So there are other things, but just don't come here and expecting an amazing white sandy beach. Let's take a look at some of the activities. Some of the water sports that you can enjoy. Hello, sir, good afternoon. Welcome to Scottish Dive Shop. Uh, we can offer you diving, island hopping, and we have also whale shark watching. If you want to book with us, uh, we have also lots of package to do that one. Come and visit me here at Big Grand Resort. Our best seller suit is this one, the B Signature Aromatherapy, because we're using this scented oil, and you choose one, and this one. Bam. So these are the treatment rooms, this one's a family one, and this is for couples. So if you want to pamper yourself, head over to the spa. So the games room will keep the young ones happy for a while. There's table tennis, pool tables, and also table soccer. There's even karaoke available. This was their main restaurant, open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's a nice, stylish, casual place to eat at. The food was nice enough. This is also where they have the buffet breakfast at, which I thought was one of the better ones that I tried while I stayed in Bohol. There was a good selection of dishes, which also included the regular breakfast ones. I'd rate this one up there with another popular resorts buffet, which I'll show you later on in the video. With all these dishes, I don't know how you could go hungry. A good thumbs up for the breakfast here. But when you're here, you really have to check out the monkey bar. Hello sir, good afternoon and welcome to Monkey Bar. We have the local um, beers. This is from Bohol and this is from Manila. So if you notice, this is um, La Morena. We have the salmon and this is the steak. This is brewed in Bohol Island. Then the other one is from Manila. From Manila. And because Monkey Bar is supporting the local products, some of the liquors here is also local. We have the local vodka. We call it um, Agima Tatugat. Here. So here. I know Baileys is familiar, but if you taste the Baileys, I'm sure you will like the Ubi Cream. This is local. I'm going to try that then. Yes, this is uh, this, the Ubi Cream. I swear you've got to try out those drinks. That purple one was so good. And it was right, if you like Baileys, you're going to like this one. Because if you're having a vacation, you must have to try the local. Mm. Yes. So how is oh, this? <laughs> show you the new beer we have from Manila. So this is local also. We have the Black Forest, Lager, the Mango Lager beer, Salted Caramel, and the Smoked Maple Bacon. But if you are here in Monkey Bar, must have to try the Smoked Maple Bacon. So welcome to the kitchen of the Monkey Bar. So if you have noticed our kitchen, we just only use the charcoal and wood for cooking. So. It's the way of the old traditional way of cooking. All right, isn't it? So just the heat. The biscuit is smoked for 14 hours. We have a smoker in the house, chef. Okay. Then we do the finishing touches here. So it is a local beef, but I'm sure you cannot notice that it is local because it is very tender, very soft. Then try it later. All right, what's to try it out? Come and enjoy and eat in Monkey Bar. There you go. See you. You put some chimichurri. My God, that meat was so good. It was spot on. You've got to try it. I loved it so much that I tried the pork dish the next day. But just quietly, the beef is the one to go for. The Loon Bar is their rooftop bar. Welcome to the Loon Bar. Then come enjoy and enjoy our drinks. Our available beer sir, is just a Crazy Caravao. This is a local beer from Laguna. Um, the Flavor available just only Pilsner and Golden Ale. Enjoy a nice cold one. And then over here in the west, you'll be able to watch the sunset. Cool looking domes as well to chill out at. Who's enjoying from Carmen? Hi, yes, from Carmen. Carmen. <laughs> so visit the Chocolate Hills when you come to Boho. Great views of the sunset from here as well, while you chill out with a drink. After that, you can hit the gym and work off all that food and drink. Let's look at the rooms. This is the deluxe aqua room, which is basically pool view. I've got the room right at the end, so you can see the pool over there. The rooms are not too bad here in the main building, but it's the villas you really want to have a look at. And let's check them out. 
So the deluxe aqua come in either one king, like this one shown, or with two queen beds. I thought it was a nice enough room. They also have the deluxe forest view, which doesn't have the good view that you got here. So the room comes with the standard amenities that you'd expect from this type of resort. The bathroom had both a bathtub and a separate shower, toiletries and a hairdryer. So the blinds here open up to the bedroom. This is the ocean suite if you need more space and comfort. As you walk through the entrance, it opens up to the living area with a sofa and table. To one side of the entrance is their work desk. As you can see, they provided some nice treats as well. I ordered that pizza via room service though. At the front, there's a little kitchen area with a sink, microwave, cutlery, and a mini bar. Also, this is where the tea and coffee facilities were. Out the front, there's a balcony overlooking, which I guess is a semi view of the ocean. Anyhow, it's nice enough to sit out there with the fresh breezes. Then you have the bedroom with a king bed. Fairly similar feel to the deluxe room. It had access to the balcony as well from a sliding door. Then to one side was the ensuite bathroom, which included a shower and bathtub, two sinks, toilet facilities, along with a hairdryer. And out the front was their wardrobe. So let me show you around the villas, you're gonna love them. If you wanna upgrade your stay with more style, you need to try out their villas. First up is their dream villa. As you walk in, you'll be wowed by this gorgeous looking modern villa. Four post bed, how awesome is that? I feel like the king. It's a nice comfortable bed. There's a sink to one side. It's nice and roomy at 90 square meters. Look what they've got here for me. All these little nibblies. How cool is that? And then you've got the bathroom with the shower and the bathtub in here. The bathroom here is also spacious and fairly modern looking. There was two basins and a separate toilet area. And one side there was a wardrobe with robes and safe. Oh, for evening supper, they've given me these cakes. How good, is How good is that? The most impressive part of the villas is a private outdoor patio. It looks fantastic with that meandering lagoon pool in front of you. You can sit back or you can jump in those cooling waters. For these villas, you have an option of taking a floating breakfast as well if you're into that. And as I said before in some of my previous videos, looks great for camera, but for practicality, just wobbles. It's gonna eat it on the table there. So out the front of the villa, they also have a balcony here that you can sit out. And in between those trees, I'm not sure if you can see it, that is the ocean. So welcome to the grand villa, which is basically a two bedroom villa with the master bedroom there and upstairs is another bedroom with two single beds. Obviously for the kids, they can go up and down the stairs. This is their other villa they have. So let me show you upstairs first. It's a loft style with one bedroom with two single beds. It comes with a work desk and TV. To the entrance is a wardrobe and then a bathroom, which comes with a shower. It was clean and a nice size. Moving back downstairs, this is the living area with kitchenette. To one side has a large fridge with cutlery and other utensils. It had cable TV. Then we move into the master bedroom, fairly much the same as the other rooms I've shown. The bathroom here though, also had a bathtub as well as the shower. The rest are just the standard features that are seen in the other villas. Overall, a great villa for a family. And for the floating breakfast, these are the choices that you have. So whether for a romantic escape or family vacation, these villas are sure to impress. So I really, really love these villas. They're a big step up from the, the rooms in the main building. So if you want to upgrade your experience here and you've got the money, the villas are definitely the way to go. So this is Daryl, my butler and personal assistant. When you book a villa, this is who you get to look after you. So with everything said and done, it's a really, really good resort. The most notable negative thing is the beachfront. Other than that, particularly the villas, you can book via B Grand's website rates for various rooms shown, also available on third party sites like Agoda and TripAdvisor. If you're looking for that dream tropical destination, I think I found it. This is Bohol Beach Club, nestled on the pristine shores of Panglao Island, only a short trip away from the airport. This place is not just a resort, it's a getaway to a tropical dream come true. Welcome to Bohol Beach Club. <laughs> Let me show you around one of Bohol's most gorgeous beach resorts. Look at this amazing beach behind me. How good is that? We've got the coconut lined shorefront here. This is what paradise is all about. Look at the gorgeous waters behind me. 
a powdery white line shore front, crystal clear waters that beckons you for a refreshing dip. It's enough to make you want to quit your 9 to 5 office job on the spot. As I've mentioned in my previous vlogs, this is the number one beach in Panglao. Where else would you want to be? So this is all about location. For water sports they've got lots of activities including the hobby cat here. Hey guys, I'm Anne from the Club Aqua Sports. We offer island hopping activities and scuba diving. Come and join us! We do kayaking, hobby cat and also the glass bottom boat, windsurfing. Uh, windsurfing? Yeah. Enjoy! <laughs> Enjoy! This is the way a holiday should be enjoyed with the activities on this picture perfect beach. If only you could get your butt off one of those lounge chairs. If the ocean isn't your thing or there's choppy seas, you always got the resort's own swimming pool as a backup. Which would you choose? It looks pretty nice at night with the lights out as well. At the front of the lobby is a gift shop for all your souvenir needs. A holiday isn't complete without a relaxing massage on the beach. So this is Eden, one of the masseurs here. What, what's the most popular massages here? Ah, uh, Swedish massage, sir. There you go, go Swedish. When you do arrive at the resort, make sure you do avail their welcome drink by the beach. This is at the cafe in front of the swimming pool, a perfect location overlooking the amazing beachfront. Hello, sir. Welcome to Budyong Restaurant. We only help serve you uh, light foods like pizza, sandwiches, and Americano in this place. On the other side here, they have their main alfresco restaurant. The food here I thought ranged from being okay to others being quite nice. Lots of different choices of cuisine. For breakfast, they had a buffet, which overall I thought was fairly ordinary, just a run and meal type breakfast. They could probably up the game here a bit. The breakfast did come with all the standard breakfast dishes that you expect. So that included waffles and pancakes. There's a chef cooking up omelets to your liking, hot dishes, cold cuts, breads, salads, and fruits. And of course, it's nice just to sit out there close to the ocean. When they had large number of guests, they sometimes offered a buffet dinner. Again, the one I tried wasn't overly huge. It was okay, I guess. Nothing to get excited about though. They did have some live music playing and with the weather being good, it was just nice to be out there under the stars. Really enjoyable ambience. Here's a copy of the a la carte menu. As you can see, it's got quite a good range of dishes, different cuisines from both local and international, some sharing dishes, salads, noodle dishes, pastas, pizzas, and there's even a kid's menu. If you've got the time as well, there's also a small gym. So let's take a look at the rooms. They have 88 in total. Bilang's Green is our newly renovated room, so it's an eco-friendly room. We don't have bottled water inside, but instead we have tumbler. You can refill water in the dispenser. So I got a room with a super king bed. Opening the door, the first thing you notice is that huge bed. Configurations also come in queen and single beds. The rooms themselves are decent enough, but nothing amazing, but I thought good enough. So this is one of their green rooms which has no plastic inside. I had to smile when I saw the durian label. Other than that, the rooms had the standard features, tea and coffee facilities, wardrobe, blah, blah, blah. The bathroom was okay as well. It was clean and functional. Maybe a tad dated, but nothing concerning. And the shower was at the back there. Their soap containers were made from plastic though. Their most luxurious rooms are their beachfront suites, which are both spacious and elegant. At the front, they have their own private veranda with coffee table where you can relax and enjoy the sea breeze. Inside you can see just how spacious it is with a plush king bed, a large expansive window offering lovely views of the beachfront, tea and coffee making facilities, including an espresso machine and mini bar. The bathrooms are also spacious. The basin had two sinks. There was a bathtub and separate shower. It was a little bit old. There was also a wardrobe with a safe and robes. Like always, their rooms can be booked via their website as well as more information on the resort itself. Rooms can also be booked through third-party sites like Agoda. You can see the rates showing. For me, Bohol Beach Club is all about location. You can't get much better than this in Bohol. But there's another resort still to come in this video that's located next door and it shares the same beautiful beach. For me, the location overshadows the resort's other shortcomings that I've mentioned in the video. And if you're coming all the way to Bohol and if you want to be on the best beach in Panglao, this is it. It's a gateway to a tropical dream come true. 
Welcome to Henan Alona Beach. If you want to be in the heart of it all, along Panglao's most famous and popular beach, Henan Alona Beach Resort may be the perfect place for you. Located here on the island, just a short trip away from the airport. Welcome to Henan Alona. Enjoy your stay. And get ready for your vacation in paradise. And the best way to start it off is with a welcome drink. This is their beachfront area where you got chairs and tables to lounge in. And behind me is their pool, but just look how beautiful that view is. It's one of Bohol's largest resorts, and it's actually got another two branches here on the island, which I'll show you in a sec. And to the left of me here, they're constructing another hen in here. Now this hen in is about to open soon at the time of making this video, and it does look promising. I will go back and do a new video when it does open, so subscribe for that. But let's look at Hen and Alona Beach. It's stylishly designed. It's like what you're seeing, those glossy magazines showcasing a tropical beach getaway. As mentioned, it's in the most touristy spot in Panglao. So if you want to be near everything, this is the place to be. The dark blue swimming pool is the most popular by the beach in the typical hen and design. I like the colors, the palm trees, and the beach as a backdrop. With all this, it makes for a popular resort for all type of travelers. It's a six and a half hectare property with three swimming pools and 400 rooms. Each of these pools has its own pool bar with friendly staff to make your holiday that much more fun. So you just need the pina colada, the beach, the pools, and you've got your perfect vacation. The front pool is a lively place even at night when the lights come out with music and people having a really good time. Out in front of the resort, you're only a few steps away from the gorgeous Alona Beach. I filmed this during the summer months when it does look at its best, so don't always expect it to look that amazing all year round. But as you can see, it looks picture perfect. Moving up to the front pool, the furthest away from the beach and closer to the rooms, this is where you can actually have some of the rooms that have direct access to the pool. I'll show you the rooms later. There's also a pool bar here, and of course I have to try it out. So if you stay to some of the other Henans around the Philippines here, you'll be pretty familiar with the design. If I pan around here, they're pretty much the same. So if you like the other Henans, you're gonna like this one. Food is always important. And this place has three restaurants and also a lobby lounge. The sea breeze near the beach is their most popular. It serves up a la carte and buffets. I thought the a la carte food here is quite nice. If you're not familiar with the Hen and Brands, they're famous for their buffets. For Panglao Island, this one's gonna be the biggest by resort and probably, in my opinion anyhow, one of the best on the island. These buffets just have so much choice. The biggest issue I do have with these is that they're always so busy and that actually goes with everything in the resort. Very popular and a busy place. Having said that, they do run the buffet pretty efficiently for the volumes of people they do get. Definitely not perfect though. So this was the going rate at the time of making this video. Good morning, welcome to Carl Cafe. <laughs> Breakfast is the same, a busy buffet. So try to get there early if you can. It does provide a good variety and choice of food. Hopefully you can see all the different dishes on screen. There were some local and some Korean dishes and the standard breakfast favorites like bacon, and pancakes, the breads and salads. There was a couple of cooks doing omelets and I think the breakfast would satisfy most. The other restaurant is Christina's which offers a more upmarket food specializing more on Western cuisine. Friendly and professional staff to serve you. I found it a lot quieter here, at least at the times I ate. The food here I had was good Here's the menu for your reference with prices. One day I saw them setting up a romantic dinner. For those romantics out there, you may want to try that. Hello sir, good afternoon. Welcome to Henan Gym. We will be open sir in the morning at 6 o'clock to 12 noon. And then we will open back at 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. And then you can work out here anytime sir. Right there. Look at those cannons. If you want cannons like that, you'll have to work out at the gym every day. And they also have their own spa on site. Now looking at the rooms. So this is their leading room, which is a deluxe room. This configuration is a single and a double bed, but you can also get one king size bed. Now the difference with this room and the other deluxe room is the view. Now the balcony is quite small here, as you can see. And then the view is basically the next property and some of the pathways through the resort. So not the most inspiring view. So if you lean over the balcony and squint a bit, you can see a bit of the ocean over there. If you've been to other Henans, they're fairly similar. Personally, I do like the rooms and they're quite decent and provide for a nice day. With the standard facilities, the bathroom in this one was a little bit small 
But other than that, all good. This one comes with a shower only. On screen is the premier room. You can also get this room with a pool access for extra cost. Personally, I'm not the greatest fan of those pool access rooms because when you open the door, you can have people looking or staring right into your room. So you don't want to have your jocks all over the floor. I believe they're fairly popular rooms though. Anyhow, this one is just with the balcony, which has a great view overlooking the pool. And again, it's a nice room. The bathroom had the additional bathtub as well as the shower. The premier rooms are a little bit bigger than the deluxe rooms. This is another premier with a garden view. Just to note that this was a wheelchair friendly room, as you can see by the setup in the bathroom. Looking now is the junior suite room, which was a bit larger again. It had an extra coffee table and chair set up, as you can see. This one had a view over the pool. Other than the extra table, it was much the same as the premier room, just a little bit larger and you have to pay more. For me, probably it wasn't enough to justify really paying for that extra amount for this room type. Anyhow, I'll let you decide on that. So let me show you the villas here. So these front villas will give you an ocean view. There's the second row here, which you make get a little bit of the ocean. These villas offer exclusive and luxurious experiences for its guests. Designed with Philippine inspired pieces, earth tone hues, creating a relaxing ambience. They come with the modern comforts and amenities that you'd come to expect from a luxurious villa like this. Each has its own veranda that you can get a little bit of a view of the ocean. But what makes these villas so special is they come with their own private plunge pool. How good is that? There's also a couple of sunbeds squashed in to relax and enjoy this luxury villa. Looking at the bathroom, it's also spacious with a separate bathtub and shower. Check out the Hennens website to book and check prices. You can even book in the pickup services. Rooms are also available to book on third party sites. It's also walking distance to other restaurants on Alona Beach if you need a change. The times I've stayed it has always been busy here but they generally manage it okay. All that said and done, highly recommended as a fantastic place to stay in Bohol. Welcome to Medalla Beach Resort here in Panglao, Bohol. This resort is located in one of the most underrated, beautiful beaches in Panglao and only around 15 minutes drive away from the popular Alona Beach, also about the same time from the airport. The stunning beach here stretches for a kilometre and in the summer months can just look gorgeous like this. The resort is perched overlooking this picture perfect beach. So just a few steps away from the resort, they have their sun lounges set up. So if you want to work on your tan or just relax a coconut or a cocktail, you've got these lounge chairs and, and umbrellas here. For water sports and activities, they offer these. Welcome to Mudala. We offer a recreational activity like jet ski, horseback riding, island hopping, fish feeding, and kayak in the mangrove area. The popu most popular sir, is mangro uh, mangrove kayaking. So the most popular ones that I saw were the stand-up paddleboard and the kayaking. The time I was there, the water was really flat, so it was just perfect for those water sports. In front, they also have some snorkeling opportunities. Actual tour through the mangroves is about 45 minutes. So this is the kayak area. You can see we've put the boat in already. The mangroves are over there. They're actually man-made, well, man-planted is a better term. And we're just going to go through them and see how it looks. But it actually looks beautiful here. The water is so clear. You can see that in camera. It's such a relaxing tour if you're not the one paddling. But hey, someone's got to film. Here we are in the mangroves in the thick of it. All you can hear is the insects. It's quite peaceful here and it's at high tide. These, these mangroves were built like 100 years ago. So these, well not built, so these mangroves were planted like over 100 years ago. I can hear some people off in the distance but by and far it's very peaceful. I can just hear the insects and the birds around here and watching my head. And this is my guy, JC, from Modella. So nice to come along here. Away from the rat race. And I really enjoy the tour. You paddle through the corridors of nature, and if that's your thing, it's well worth doing this tour. And there's two horses they have here. They're not here at the moment, but they come here later and you can ride along the beach on a horse if you like. The horseback riding was popular later on in the day when it wasn't so hot. Here's a list of the activity prices for your reference. If you need a bit of pampering, they have a spa. Hey, Andrew, and welcome to Recovery Spa. And so this is part of Modella, obviously. Yes, sir, it's part of Modella. 
And at the moment, it's a soft opening, so yes. you're offering these packages. Yes, Swedish type massage sir. That's a whole body massage. Yeah, but you can also request what part of your body you wish to be a focus. Okay. Check their Facebook page for the latest rates and packages. Another place you can check out is their dive center. Hello, good morning. Welcome to GNP Diving Center. Well, at GNP Diving Center, we're going to offer a diving courses. And we also offer for Sunset Cruise. And we also offer for an island hopping tour. Have a look at their Facebook page for more information. Next door is an urban style mall. It's got some trendy bars, restaurants and retail stores just to give you more places to spend your money at. And just outside of the resort here is a trendy looking place to eat. What's the name of the restaurant? Uh, La Vara Restaurant. La Vara Restaurant. And this is the bus out of the Partridge family, right? Did you watch a Partridge family? Uh, it's okay. <laughs> Before her time. So you've got tables set up here and there's even tents you can eat in. It offers Asian-inspired cuisine with a tropical ambience. What are in this one? What's it called? Seafood gochucha. The most important thing is the food, obviously, but this one looks like it's a bit Instagrammable. Got some tables and even tents you can eat in. I thought the food here was pretty good. If you're staying at Medela, I recommend to try it out. So the future plans for this area is quite exciting, actually. It's going to be called Tomoy Leisure Village. So not only are they going to have this little shopping strip, they're actually going to build some condos over there. And part of the resort, they're actually going to build some luxury villas. So rather than staying at the hotel style, they're going to have villas you can stay at. So really exciting. Up this far side of the beach is where they're building all the new stuff here, including the new villas. This part of the resort is actually quite rocky, but it still looks quite beautiful. And this area is gaining a reputation for being one of the best spots on Pang Lao to watch the sunset. So let's look more at the resort itself. Boasting one of the island's finest infinity swimming pools, its design integrates streamlessly with the natural beauty of the surrounding tropical beach. Mix that with a cocktail or a coconut from the pool bar and you're in tropical bliss. And this is the way your holiday should be. Medela has one restaurant. Looking on screen now is their buffet breakfast. This one I would rate as above average. Not overly huge, but decent enough selection of dishes. At the restaurant, I do like their outdoor terrace. When the weather is good, it's really nice to eat outside there. The restaurant offers a fusion of Asian, international and local cuisines. And I thought in general, the food was good here. Also when they were busy and had lots of guests, outside they had live music at night while you ate. For your reference, here's a copy of the menu while I stayed. After all that food, you may want to check out their modern gym. Let's look at the different rooms that they have. So, so what was this room called this again? This one is Langtao Sunset. Langtao Sunset. Sunset. Okay, so what you're paying for is the view you get. So this is the view you get. Marketing calls it Sunset View, but everyone else would call it Residential View. This room I'm staying at tonight is the Langtao Panoramic View. The other cheaper room is exactly the same setup apparently but it's on a lower floor, you just don't get the views. So I'll go show you the views in a sec. Inside the rooms, they're pretty much identical to each other. It's just the bedding types can change. Kind enough to remember me and welcome me back. A nice firm beds they've got here. So the difference between the price of the rooms is what you get out here. So this one is on the higher floor, so you get better views of the surrounding areas of Panglao. So the rooms below me, basically the same setup, but because they're lower, They've got buildings in the way so you don't get that magnificent views. So this is the lower level room view with what they term as a garden view. Now back up to the higher level, you can see the differences in the views. Man, the views here are gorgeous of the, the coastline here of Pang Lao. And then you can see Boho, the mainland in the distance. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but in the distance there is the Bellevue Resort, another upmarket resort they have here in Pang Lao. Personally, I like the rooms. They're nice and spacious and with all the modern comforts. And I'll actually show you the different bedding types as I show you the other rooms. At the front is a wardrobe with safe robes and hair dryer. The bathroom is modern and clean with the standard toiletries. And I thought the bathroom overall was nice. So let me show you the deluxe ocean view. This is with a king bed set up and this one is with a two bed set up. 
Again, the wardrobe at the front was the same as the other rooms. Just to mention that all the rooms come with water as well as these juices in the mini bar. And what I love is these coffee drip sachets. They have so much better than those instant coffee sticks. It's like night and day, check them out. And I just got addicted to those. If you're a coffee lover, I recommend trying them out. Anyhow, you can see all the room's features are basically the same. And the TV is a 49 inch smart TV. So pretty much inside the rooms are the same. The bedding types are a little bit different, but what you're paying in the difference here is basically the view that you get. These are the best views you're gonna get from a room here. So this is the balcony and this is what you pay for, a view like this. And actually the balcony here is quite spacious. You can relax on the balcony while enjoying stunning, unobstructed views of the ocean and pool. For me, it was perfect with a morning coffee. Now this is the bathroom, good size, and it had a bathtub as well as a separate shower. I like how they're modern and clean and a good thumbs up. To sum it up, I really like the rooms here. They're modern and spacious and comfortable to stay in. I like this little touch as well. They can call me Mr. Cotter. Like with all these resorts, you can book via the website and get more details on rooms and the resort itself. You can check prices and availability. Also available on third party sites. And I did notice that the third party sites may give the rooms a different name though. Medella is an excellent and modern upmarket resort to stay at in Panglao. Definitely worth a look. Mabuhay, welcome to Bellevue Resort. This one is just up the road from Medella, so it actually shares the same gorgeous beach. So on the map, there's not a lot more to add to what I showed on the Medella's map. And welcome to the Bellevue Resort here in Bohol. This is an upmarket stylish resort and one of my favorites to stay at. Let's check it out. Enjoy a cooling towel and refreshing drink when you arrive. The resort offers a range of activities and amenities that make your stay unforgettable. Hey, you got the choice of a beautiful pool or a beautiful beach. Which would you choose? But let's look at the infinity pool first. Visually, it just looks amazing. It offers guests a comfortable place to relax, soak up the tropical sun, enjoy a refreshing beverage, or just jump in to cool off from the heat, and then repeat that all over again. Anna and Mary made a guest appearance. You can see them in our other vlogs we did together showcasing the best of Bohol. Spending time by the pool will leave you feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. It's a perfect place to escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life and enjoy some much needed rest and relaxation. So when the winds are calm like this, the beach is just beautiful. Down a few stairs is the beachfront. They have a 250 meter long shorefront. They've lined the beach with sunbeds and umbrellas. So further up the beach here is actually Medella, another fantastic resort to stay at and I'll show that later if I haven't already shown it. During the summer months, the waters are calm and provide a beautiful place to take a dip in the water and enjoy the paradise of Bohol. Welcome to Bohol! So let's take a look at what activities you can do at the resort here. Hi miss, what would you recommend doing as a water sport here? What's that? <laughs> I'm shy. I'm shy. You're not shy. I'm Come on. Which water sports are popular here to do? Uh, the water activity sports. Which ones? Uh, the island hopping, like kayak, everything and about the water sport. That's there you go. you got lots of choices of water sports to do here. So plenty of things to do while you're on your holiday. If you plan on doing something romantic or even just for a special occasion, they offer these dinners on the beach. I mean, how good does that look? If you're lucky and get a great sunset, it just looks dreamy-like. So next to the pool, you've got the snooker. You're going to play a bit of billiards. You've got the pool bar here. Hello. You want a nice cocktail or fruit juice? There's plenty to choose from, from alcoholic to non-alcoholic to juices and coconut drinks. Cheers to that. At the time of my stay, only the Alfresco restaurant was open. It overlooks the garden and the pool. And I just have to give a plug that the staff here were just fantastic. The food that they served was good, from cakes to the main dishes, just yum. There was a good variety of cuisine to keep most people happy. Breakfast was a buffet, and for me, I'd rate this as another one of the better buffets in Bohol. Not overly huge, but still providing a great breakfast with salads, fresh fruits, yogurts, Lots of different hot dishes, breads, chefs cooking up pancakes and various egg dishes. And there was even a kids area. So this lawn, the area, they have some of the functions here like buffets. And I remember for New Year's, they had a band playing here and tables set up to, to eat and drink by. So they do special events here as well, like weddings. 
Saturday nights, they have a buffet dinner, weather permitting. Like when I was there, they had a buffet dinner, which was very popular with the guests here. The buffet was pretty decent. It wasn't huge, but it was enough dishes to cater for everybody. Like what I said about the one at the Bohol Beach Club. It's nice to eat outside like this when the weather's good. If you wanted me to compare this one with the Bohol Beach Club, this one was the better one. They also had live music playing here as well. They have a relaxing pond with fish that you can feed. So if you're staying here, they do have a tour desk and I'll ask Leslie a few questions about what they offer here. Hello, good afternoon. I am Leslie Reyes from NDR Travel and Tours. Welcome to Bohol. If you stay here two days, I would recommend day one is the Bohol Countryside Tour, which is a whole day tour and you will see the beautiful scenery of the, the island, Chocolate Hills, the Torshir and the majestic Lubok River Cruise. And the day two, it's the dolphin watching and island hopping and you will see the the you will see the sun bar the virgin island and the uh, turtles and so many fishes in the fish sanctuary at Balkesag island and you'll love it yes come on down and here i'm here at station in bellevue resort and come and see me <laughs> other facilities include a little gym these were some of the activities available when I stayed. They also have a spa, but I didn't use it myself. And while you're here, you may want to check out the tower that has this viewing platform that you can go walk around the whole tower so you can have a 360 degrees view of Bohol here. And then you can see behind me. And that also includes the setting sun over there. They even have this telescope, but unfortunately, keep your hands off. And the telescope's not to be used like in the movie Rear Window but they do offer it for stargazing if you want to do that. So let's take a look at the rooms. So the most of the rooms here are the deluxe sea view and over here the deluxe sea view. They give you beautiful views looking over the ocean and also the pool here. Firstly, I just wanted to show you the differences in the deluxe sea view rooms from the different wings. It was roomy and a comfortable place to stay in. But it's the view I wanted to show you and this is the view you get from this wing and the balcony. And this is a view from the same wing but from another time I stayed, just a different angle. The bathroom had a bathtub as well as a separate shower. It was clean and I thought it was a nice bathroom. Now this is the second Seaview Deluxe that I stayed and this was in the other wing of the hotel. Inside it was basically the same, just a few subtle differences. They all feature luxury amenities for a comfy stay and there's a couch and a work desk as well as tin coffee making facilities. A wardrobe in the front with the standard features. The bathroom was pretty identical as well with a shower and separate bathtub. When it comes to views. Not all views are the same. I like this wing better than that one over there. That one's a bit back a bit, so the view is not quite as good. But this one, as you can see, is closer to the pool and it's a better view. I wouldn't say it's a deal breaker. I guess what floats your boat, really. If you don't book the ocean view, this is the view that you're gonna get from your balcony. Now, if you wanna upgrade your stay, this is the junior suite, basically a one bedroom suite that offers you more room and space with 71 square meters. The living room itself comes with the same amenities as the other rooms I've shown, but I did notice the extra espresso machine and generally a really nice room. There's a balcony as well that overlooked the ocean and pool and to one side is the bedroom. The room was nice enough with a comfy bed. It also had access to the balcony from the sliding door. Other than that, it was pretty much the same feel as the other rooms. There was a wardrobe to one side. The bathroom too had a bathtub and separate shower. And again, it was clean and modern. The next room is the Bellevue Suite. And if you're looking for an unforgettable stay at this resort, this is definitely the room you should book. It comes with a jacuzzi on the balcony. And I'll show you that in a sec. You don't want to miss that. This suite comes with a living room like the junior suite and it's just a fantastic room to stay at. It comes with a standard wardrobe. The bathroom was the same as the other rooms I've shown with a bathtub and shower. Now if you want to level up your stay like a rock star, this balcony has a jacuzzi and breathtaking views of the resort and the ocean. Add a glass of wine and you're in heaven. Pampering yourself in the jacuzzi, you'll never want to go home. Cheers to that. There's also a couple of lounge chairs to one side of the balcony. If you want to splurge on your holiday, this is the room to go for. I'm sure you won't forget it, and neither will your credit card. The website has more details on the features and activities you can do at the resort, as well as room types and prices. I couldn't find the Bellevue suite rates, so I did email them. And as you can see, it's anywhere between 18 to 25K, depending on the season. 
Also available on third-party sites like TripAdvisor and Agoda, but I couldn't find the Bellevue suite on those third-party sites. So as you can tell, the more money you spend, the more amazing your stay can be here. Even saying that, the deluxe room's an excellent place to stay as well. This is just a brilliant resort to stay at in Bohol. You'll love it. Coming in at number three is Amarita Resort, a luxurious property nestled on the top of a cliff overlooking the beautiful Alona Beach, around a 10 minute drive from the airport. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Amarita Resort, Mr. Robert. And this is your welcome dream suite. It's located on a prime location overlooking Alona Beach, although the view recently has been a little overshadowed by the new Henan Resort, but still excellent views. As I've mentioned before in the video, Alona Beach is the heart and soul of the tourist area of Bohol. Amarita has two infinity swimming pools. This is their first, offering spectacular views of Alona Beach and the ocean, perfect for either cooling off in its waters or just lazing by the pool on one of their sunbeds. With the bar right next to the pool, a drink is a must. Welcome to Azutea Bar. Enjoy our snacks and drinks here at Amuri. So when you stay, come and enjoy here at my bar. I'll make you a perfect drink. And that's the best way to enjoy it. I need to also mention that the sunsets here are also worth hanging out for. Some of those colours are just spectacular. If you're romantic at heart or just not getting any action in your marriage, try one of these romantic dinners overlooking the beach that the resort can organise for you. Although the resort is on a cliff, there are steps to come down onto the beach here at Alona. You can just turn around, you can see it in the background, hopefully. So if you want to enjoy some water sports, you've got kayaks, complimentary for one hour. You can do snorkeling here. There's beach mats, so enjoy the paradise of Bohol or Alona Beach. And they've also got a secret little cove down here. Let's check it out. Lounge chairs here, and there's a bit of beach in front of me, nothing too amazing though. On the other side of the resort is this pool. It's just located in front of their Saffron restaurant. So behind me you see a second pool and you can see it just looks incredible. Welcome to Saffron, enjoy your cocktails here. For me, to start a vacation on the right foot is to mix this scenery with a classic pina colada. And doesn't that look inviting? So this is one of my favorite resorts to stay here in Alona Beach. Look how gorgeous that looks goes perfect with one of these. Enjoy things while you can. The pool just looks amazing, and after lazing by the pool or taking a swim, it's time to try out some of the resort's food. And for cuisine, you're in for a real treat. The Saffron Restaurant is one of Bohol's best that serves a fusion of Filipino and international cuisine using fresh and local ingredients. They also have a great selection of wines, cocktails, and beverages to pair with your food. The food that I tried was just delicious and mouth-watering. Here's a copy of the menu when I stayed. It's got a nice mix of different cuisines and you can see why I never lose weight here in the Philippines. For breakfast, it was a buffet and it was quite small. But in saying that the food here was good or actually delicious, and I think the term less is more applies here. Even though it wasn't overly huge, it did have enough variety and choice to satisfy the taste of its guests. It had all the regular favorites for breakfast, as well as chefs cooking up your eggs to your style. It's not the best buffet breakfast in Bohol, but it is a good one. So the Lost Cow is one of their restaurants to check out now. Welcome to the Lost Cow, Drop House Robert. If you're looking for a place to eat that will satisfy your carnivorous cravings and your eyes in a cozy setting, then you definitely have to check out this restaurant. Trust me, you won't regret it unless you're a vegan. The food I had, I really enjoyed and I thought it was delicious. But as you expect from a resort like this, it was a bit pricey. Here's the menu to give you an idea on the dishes and prices when I stayed. To pamper yourself, they do have a spa. Hi, I'm Primes. I'm the spa head at the Citri Spa. So these are our spa menu. So we have um, different types of massage. Then I can recommend the signature massage. Okay, and yes. what's that one? The signature massage is with a thermal therapy. It's a hot herbal compress. Then we use the chocolate oil that uh, we um, homemade cook here at the Citri Spa. And so this is the gym. They've got some equipment for cardio and some weights. And then over here, they've got a floor, I guess, for some aerobics or yoga or something. Oh, there's some mats over there. No one here at the moment. It's worth noting it's only a small gym. I also have to mention how awesome the staff here are. 
During Typhoon Odette, I was staying here and with all the disaster going on with that typhoon and the damage, the staff here were just incredible looking after all their guests here. So this is how the pool looked the morning after Typhoon Odette. It was a total mess. Panglao Island actually escaped the worst of the typhoon but still got the edge of the storm. So this is their second swimming pool which <laughs> looks like a swamp at the moment but that'll get back to normal shortly. Anyway, I just want to give a shout out to the staff and crew here. They've done a wonderful job here in, in difficult times. Particularly with the staff dealing with their own stress and issues from the damage of the typhoon on their own homes and family. And they did a fantastic job of looking after us guests under these difficult circumstances. We always talk about how good customer service is when things are normal, but when a disaster like this hits, this is where good customer service shines. And that's what happened here. They went above and beyond. I won't forget it. Let's look at the rooms now. And as you can see by the condensation on the window, I had my aircon on too high. They have a small patio at the front and inside you have a nice spacious comfortable room. They either come in one king or two double beds. With the design of the room there was no partition between the bathroom and the room so it was all open with only the shower and toilet in separate cubicles. Everything else was nice and clean and I thought overall a good room. All the standard facilities. Complimentary water, tea and coffee facilities and a mini bar. This is the junior suite, which is larger at 40 square meters. Again, it came either in a king or two double beds. The ground floor had a patio, while the upper floor, which I had, had this day bed. And this is the view looking back to the entrance. This is the bathroom with this mesh partition between the bathroom and the bedroom. The bathroom was complete with the standard amenities that you'd expect for a cozy stay here. Everything was clean and it was a nice room. Just to show you another junior suite with the king bed. For even more space, at 80 square metres, this is the one bedroom suite. At the front there was a kitchen area and a dining table. It had tea and coffee making facilities and also included an espresso machine. Then at the other end of the room, it had a couch and TV. The room was quite minimalistic. Then we walk into the bedroom, again that minimalistic feel to the room. Sparsely furnished, but it did come with a TV with cable. And it also had a nice large size bathroom with both bathtub and shower. And at the front of the bathroom was the wardrobe. There's also a little patio at the back. So if you want to stay in style, then these are the ones to go for. They're incredible and for guests who want the best in luxury and comfort when they stay, then there's no other choice if you truly want a magical experience. It's something you don't want to miss. First up is the garden villa at 120 square meters. It's huge. And out the back it has its own private plunge pool set in a little garden area. So this one's perfect for couples looking for a romantic getaway. It came with a complimentary bottle of bubbly to make your stay even more special. A really nice bedroom area to take your stay to new heights. At the entrance is the wardrobe with the standard features and to one side is the villa's spacious bathroom with huge vanity. At the front is the toilet and at the back is the shower area. Overall, it's pretty nice. Now, if you want an even better villa, try the sheer awesomeness of the breathtaking sea view pool villa. The villa room itself is pretty much the same as the garden one. So welcome to the sea view villa and I'm just gonna show you outside what you get. So how amazing is this villa? You've got the pool here and in the distance, you've got the ocean, just perfect. And if you have a Filipina partner, it's a guaranteed tampo proof stay. Right there is the best seat in the house. So a nice touch here is you get a bottle of bubbly complimentary and two glasses, but since I have no partner, I will be drinking by myself. Cheers to the single people. Look at that. It was just the perfect way to end the day. In the pool with a glass and enjoy the serenity. What a way to make your vacation enjoyable and unforgettable. The bathroom was identical to the garden villa, so there's nothing more to add to that. The book, you can go via their website, they sometimes have promos which can be found on their website as well. Rates are shown and also available on third party sites. Staying at Amarita was one of my best days ever and that's why it comes in at number three. It's just one of the top places you can stay in Bohol. Home. For number two, we have to head back to the pretty serene town of Anda, about two and a half hours drive from Panglao. One of the most beautiful beach coves here in Anda. Just look behind me, that is picture perfect. 
This is paradise. And this is Amun Ini Resort, one of the most relaxing and beautiful places I've ever been to. This is a watermelon and young coconut shake. Start your stay here with a refreshing welcome drink as you enter the resort. So this is a dive resort, you can see the boat out there, or you want to enjoy the beach and be a beach bum, or just sit and relax over there. How else would you want to spend your time in paradise? Amul Ini Resort is an idyllic tropical getaway that you just dream about. The 300 metre long private white sandy beach cove provides the ultimate in relaxation and tranquility. The resort is built to provide a breathtaking view of the crystal clear waters around Anda. Now if you're a diver you'll appreciate this resort more and if you're not like me I think you'll still love it. You're never gonna want to leave. You can try some of the water sports here or swim or even snorkel at the front. So let's take a look at the dive shop. Hello, my name is Reggie. I'm a dive master here. So by the way, this is a dive site here in Anda. We are here in Amonini Beach Resort. So here we have 32 dive sites here. So this side mostly, this side uh, mostly, uh, this is a, a beautiful uh, soft corals here. So, and also not soft coral, we can see also here like a pygmy seahorses, uh, frogfish, nodi branches, and this side uh, mostly uh, more on hard corals. And also you can see a lot of turtles, uh, nodi branches, pygmy seahors also. And not only sometimes if you are lucky you can see some uh, whale shark. As long as you dive here, I'm for sure you will enjoy. Hi, I'm Josie Hasmin, one of the dive instructor here in Amun Ini. We can offer the introductory dive, open water course, advanced rescue, dive master. And of course we have the ocean reef full face mask. This is one of our specialty course as well. Come and join us anytime. You are more than welcome. Getting an overview of the resort, it's only a small place with 16 rooms, a lovely infinity pool, which you can see looks stunning with great panoramic views of the ocean below. As I fly the drone around, you can see it's a secluded getaway with just breathtaking views of the waters and the green hills in the background. You can't get better than this. Looking at the infinity pool, it's so relaxing to laze by. You can hear the birds and insects. It's just so serene. And I was able to see some lovely sunsets here too, both by the pool and if you walk down onto the beach. If you need even more relaxation, they also have an on-site spa. This is their open air restaurant. The food here for sure will tantalize your taste buds. Oh my God, the food was just so good here. The place gets rave reviews from the guests who stay, many of them rating the food as world class. They cook using family recipes and sustainable ingredients that are sourced locally. They also have a well stocked bar. On top of that, the restaurant offers magnificent views over the pool and ocean. These are some of the delicious meals that I had, including a number of different breakfast dishes, which does include some healthier options. Here's a copy of the menu when I stayed. Looking out the rooms, as mentioned, they have 16 luxuriously decorated rooms. So welcome to my room. This is actually room two. Now these rooms are spacious, well-appointed rooms. They're gonna be the best you're gonna find here in Anda. This is the Deluxe King, but they also have a twin deluxe, which comes with two single beds. It comes with a couch, flat screen TV with cable channels, a mini bar, desk with writing space, free Wi-Fi in the rooms, and most importantly, the beds are comfortable. Now they don't have a phone, but you can use this to call reception or the security guard when the reception's gone home. Also to mention there is tea and coffee making facilities, including an espresso machine, and the mini bar was also fully stocked. The bathroom's also great with modern toilet and bath fixtures. There's a glass window that divides it from the room, allowing lots of natural light in. It's a very spacious and clean bathroom. And outside they've got a huge balcony, <laughs> which I've got another ordinary day here in Boho, but when it's a good day, just beautiful views. I've also noticed that since the typhoon, it's a little bit less green, so you actually get better views than they had before. The balcony provides a perfect way to sit and unwind, particularly at the end of the day. This is another room that I stayed on my previous time. Just a slightly different look, and you can see a different angle from the balcony. This one was a little bit closer to the pool. Like always, have a look at their website for more information, prices, and the book. Also available on your favorite third-party sites. And for the resort in Ander, this is my top pick by far. Make no mistake, this is the best resort to stay in Ander, period. Well, at least at the time of making this video. Welcome home. Good morning. Welcome to Amun Ini. So now you're finally home. So please consider this as your second home. Feel at home. All you have to do is to enjoy your holiday. 
Thank you for choosing us. And also, I have to mention a shout out to the staff. They go out of the way to make your vacation unforgettable. Go book here, you won't be disappointed. So coming in at number one is this resort, South Palms. Join me in this little slice of heaven in Panglao. Mabuhay, welcome to South Palms. Welcome drinks po sir. Located on Panglao's best beach and the longest stretch of natural white sand on the entire island, just a short trip away from the airport. Whether you're craving relaxation under swaying palm trees or thrilling water escapades, South Palms has it all. As you arrive, your senses will be immediately ignited by the vivid burst of colors. The swimming pool adorned with vibrant hues, palm fringed umbrellas, and the endless stretch of sandy shores creates a mesmerizing tapestry of candy colored delight. We need to talk about the beach though. As you can see by the images, it's just stunningly beautiful here. When you dream about tropical beaches, this is probably what you imagine in your head. You have a dreamy paradise that unfolds in front of you where each of the lounge chairs and hammocks is a ticket to a piece of paradise that's all your own. How amazing is that? So now the central part of the resort is where these colorful umbrellas are located. It's the busiest part of the resort and is where the day use guests are allowed to hang out. It's just perfect here to sit with a cocktail and enjoy the beach views. And you can imagine this is the most popular place to be. Later on when the sun starts to set, it's just a lovely spot to hang out and you can feel those cool ocean breezes. Like with many resorts around Bohol, you can also set up a romantic dinner on the beach. So today's a bit choppy there in the ocean, as you can see behind me, so it's not always perfect here in paradise. Let's talk about the food outlets. So next to the pool is their main bar. It's a busy and lively bar with friendly staff. You can order drinks and food here. Start 7 a.m. till 7 p.m. So happy hour is a whole day. Looking at the food now, I thought it was okay although it didn't really blow me away. More casual dining food rather than, say, fine dining. A lot of nights they also had live music playing here as well. You can also organize special event dinners like the one shown on screen. For breakfast, it was a buffet style. I would rate this one as above average. It was a fair sized buffet with enough choice of dishes, decent amount of hot dishes and all those breakfast favorites. Also a selection of local and international cuisines. You can also request for omelet or eggs to be cooked to your liking at the egg station and those fresh fruits and yogurts. Depending on where you sit, you can enjoy a, a scenic view over the resort. It's a perfect way to experience the beauty and hospitality of Bohol. Now, if you somehow get tired of the beach, they do have a second pool, which, which is away from the busier bar area. Another great place to relax and unwind by, particularly if you have a cocktail or a cold one under the shady palm trees. Whether you're traveling with your family, your partner or your friends, you'll surely have a memorable time here at the pool. So the shuttle service to the farm is at 9 a.m. and the first one coming back is at 11. So let's check out South Farm here in Panglao. We went over to their farm. They also have a little gym here that you can see behind me and just out the front. Some games room with ping pong and snooker. We're going to try this um, Kaya for, for like 30 minutes because it's free guys, you know? Yeah, for 30 minutes and it's, and then this is my very first time to try this and I'm very excited. Come on! <laughs> so these are some of the fun activities that you can do while you stay here. Look at those crystal clear waters. If you want some fun in the sun, what are you waiting for? And if you need some pampering after this, there's always a spa. Something well worth doing when you're staying here at South Palms. Mabuhay! Welcome to Zense Spa. You can enjoy massage by the ocean. So you know what guys, after a long day of, of being here, we will have the Zense Signature Massage all for like one hour. Enjoy the fresh air and sounds of waves as you relax and rejuvenate your body and mind to a well-deserved indulgence on the beach. So we're good, we're done, and then it's, it was so amazing. Wow. Yeah, and then um, I'm going to rate it 1 to 10, it's 11. 11. Nice and to be back here, you know. Yeah, it's early. And what would you rate there, at 10? Um, 100? <laughs> 100, good. 1 to 100. One, well, 100. Then, and then it's highly recommended here. Now something interesting next door, they're building what looks to be like a very exciting new resort. When it does open, I will go back and check it out and make a new video. And if it deserves it, I will rate it against these resorts as well. Watch this space. So the resort has 78 rooms and villas, each designed with a mix of traditional Filipino design and modern touch, providing authentic relaxation in this tropical paradise. Their garden rooms are the leading room type, and obviously 
You've got the garden view, which surprisingly is a garden view and not a car park view. The rooms here are nice, but I wouldn't say they're amazing. They're roomy and supplied with the standard features and facilities. The bathroom is nice enough, clean and functional. So let's take a look at the deluxe pool view. They each have a little patio at the front. So my room is not quite facing the pool, it's on an angle, it's just over there. But you may get a room further down that faces straight into the pool. Like these rooms which face directly into the pool. And actually you're not that far away from the beachfront. You can see over there. So looking inside this room, it's fairly much the same as the garden one. The same style and setup. I thought it was a nice enough room for a comfortable stay. The amenities in the room were the same. I thought the bathroom was decent with all the toiletries and again it came with the shower only. During my stay I had no issues with the rooms. So behind me are my favourite room types, the premium beachfront. Obviously because they're right on the beach here. It's like a one bedroom suite. Let's look inside. So the living area here comes with a standard mini bar. You've got your water, tea and coffee making facilities. Some chill out chairs here. There's no TV in this room, but in the bedroom there is. The room has some couches to one side to relax with and with those amazing views out the window. Now, if only this living area had aircon, this suite would be just perfect. Nonetheless, it's almost perfect. Imagine getting up every morning to this. Dorothy would never want to go back to Kansas. That patio is the highlight with the views of that beach like that. Just one step away from paradise with those views to die for. Let's take a look into the bedroom. The bedroom is spacious and clean. It had a work desk, cable TV, and all rooms actually have Wi-Fi. It had huge windows overlooking the beach. Imagine waking up to the sound of waves crashing on the shore and to look out over the beach like that, the best seat in the house. The bathroom was also roomy with a bath and separate shower. Overall, a really nice room and in the location on the resort that you just can't beat. So if you want to be right on the beachfront, this is my pick of the rooms if it suits your budget. Now, if you want to up your level of luxury, try their beach villa. The beach villa is the most exclusive and elegant room at the resort, perfect for couples on their honeymoon, anniversary or special occasion. It's also ideal for families or groups who want to have a memorable stay here and just a few steps away from that gorgeous beach. It comes with a separate bedroom, which is roomy and comfy and a great way to stay in style at this resort. The regular amenities and features that you would expect. This villa will make you feel like a king or queen. The bathroom too is huge, complete with bathtub and shower and the standard toiletries. If you've got the cash, you'll love it. On the website, you can book and check prices, which are shown on screen, including their even larger Panglao Villa, also available on third party sites. Being on the most beautiful beach in Panglao, it is on the pricier side of things. So you need to keep that in consideration. So for me, this is my favorite place to stay in Bohol, a tropical paradise that offers a perfect blend of luxury and comfort on a stunning beach. Whether for a family holiday or romantic getaway, this place will leave you with unforgettable memories. Now I highly recommend you watching this video on screen now for part one, where I count down from number 20 to 11. There's some really fantastic other resorts and hotels that you should really take a look at. If you need some ideas on what to do and see in Bohol, I recommend you watching this video on screen. I show some places that tour guides just don't take you to, and I promise you, you'll see some things you've not heard or seen before, and they're well worth a visit. So also check out that video. I'll see you there.